Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Kendra and that's Taryn and we are living an okay life. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that every time we release a video, you will be informed. So today we are in beautiful Tulsa, Oklahoma. And in case you didn't know, that's the second largest city here in Oklahoma. So today we are showing you different districts around the area and what there is to do. So this is just sort of our short mini guide of Tulsa, Oklahoma. So make sure you sit back, relax, and check it out. Up first is the Deco District. It's located at the center of downtown Tulsa and features local businesses, restaurants, and entertainment. It's known for its Art Deco architectural style that's full of history. Many of the buildings were built during the oil boom in the 1920s and 30s. Oil tycoon Waite Phillips left a lasting impression when building the Phil Tower and Philcade buildings. If you're ever in the area, be sure to check out the small Art Deco Museum located in the lobby of the Philcade building. It's free and you can even do a self-guided tour. Up next is the Blue Dome Entertainment District. It's located downtown and offers a great nightlife scene and a great selection of restaurants, bars, and entertainment. You can enjoy Tulsa Skyline on the rooftop at Roof 66 Bar, head over to Dust Bowl for a retro bowling experience, or even hang out at the Max Retro Pub playing 80s themed arcade games. Be sure to check out delicious food as well at Fassler Hall and McNelly's. The Greenwood District is also known as Black Wall Street. This area was once one of America's most prosperous African American communities. When in the area, be sure to visit the Greenwood Cultural Center to learn about the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre. The center offers exhibits, educational programs, and events that tell the history and heritage of local African Americans. You can also check out the Black Wall Street mural, enjoy good food at one of the locally owned businesses, or even catch a baseball game at the One OK Field and see the Tulsa Drillers. Up next is the Pearl District. It's located just east of downtown Tulsa in one of the city's oldest neighborhoods. It was given a second chance when the Pearl District Association stepped up to transform the area into a multi-purpose walkable neighborhood. For cute gifts and souvenirs, stop by Buck Adams and be sure to take a photo with him while you're there. Enjoy some of the best pizza in Tulsa at Bobbio's or go stop by Decopolis Discoveratorium and Tulsa Rama Town Square where they also have a mini Tulsa Art Deco Museum. Make sure to explore the other nearby shops, galleries, and restaurants as well. You won't be disappointed when visiting this area. Next is the Tulsa Art District. This district is home to the famous Kane's Ballroom and 1914 Tulsa Theater, where you can catch shows and concerts. When visiting, you can often find different art galleries, museums, parks, clubs, and more. This district also offers a unique spot called the Center of the Universe. This is a popular tourist attraction where visitors stand on a circle and any noises they make are echoed back to them. If you've never been, you have to check it out. 
Tulsa's iconic Spring Festival, which is Tulsa's International May Fest, is also held in the Tulsa Arts District and is a family-friendly tribute to the arts. Cherry Street is a hub for a local shopping spree. It's located near downtown in the northern Midtown area. When visiting the area, you will be sure to find great places to shop like The Nest, Jumping Jackalope, and Rustic Cuff. You can even find antiques and collectibles in the area. If you want to check out local food, be sure to stop by Society Burger, Andalini's Pizza, or Coffee House on Cherry Street. You can even enjoy some late night dining and drinks with friends at Kilkenny's Irish Pub. Whatever you do, Cherry Street offers a little bit for everybody. The East Village, aka the sunny side of downtown, is home to apartments, restaurants, and retail shops. Check out the new and trendy goat bar and kitchen, or do some shopping in the shipping containers called the Box Yard. We hope you enjoyed this tour. Up next, we have some bonus clips from the 100th year anniversary parade on Black Wall Street. you guys it's gonna wrap this video up we hope you enjoyed our little mini guide of Tulsa Oklahoma if you did make sure you hit that like button and let us know in the comments below as well and make sure you go subscribe to our Instagram channel go follow us over there at living in okay life we will see you guys in the next one bye